All right, my videos are a little bit out of sync. I do want to get back on the center console. There's some footage I have from before that, but since I was working on the panel, I released the uh, panel video where I did all of the mounting of this. In that video, I did lie. I was said I was gonna forego the mounting up to the top. At the end of the day, I had the brackets made and I didn't think it would hurt. But the biggest benefit is actually how, you know, no buckling of the, the boot cowl itself. So kind of happy I did it. Um, they're pretty thin. If they don't last, they won't hurt anything. It's solid. Now I'm, while I have the panel here, I finally came up with a good position for my throttle, our throttle quadrants. I, I tried two or three different um, spacings because this is obviously small. I wanted some room for the fat hands to get between the mixture and the throttle. The alternate air, which is not used as much. Um, I wrote on the build log what I ended up with for measurement. So I'm actually gonna mount those and also see how they go through the firewall. The other thing I wanna do is put these vents in, um, get that done. And there was one more thing, throttle quadrant. Oh, the parking brake, yeah. So I bought a cable from McFarland. And while I have this here, I'm gonna make some kind of provision for the parking brake to be there. So I promise I'll get back on the center console after that. All right, if anybody cares, these are the measurements I came up with. If you draw a center line right through the middle, it's exactly six inches end to end. I put the throttle cable seven eighths of an inch in. From the left, I put the mixture cable three and a quarter inches in, and the alternate air five and one sixteenth. And I like the way you have room between the, uh, you know, the different cables, depending on how far you pull that out. Um, I, I like that setup. Then I moved on to running these through here. I know Tony was saying that uh, reversing them is better. Obviously, I don't have my engine on it, so I don't know yet. Uh, I will probably make some kind of provisions here, edge form this, or put some kind of bracket that pull, pulls the cables a little bit straight. But then I realized that this is only quarter inch, while these cables are 5 sixteenths. So I'm guessing I have to drill them out because there's no way you're getting the ball on there with a quarter inch cable. Sorry, I meant to say 5 16 cable. And this one I just drilled out. And I didn't go to the 5 16 I went to one below, which is 19 64 And that actually, uh, the intent was to, to give it a little bit of grip uh, where the 5 16 might might actually slide through. And that worked great, so I'm gonna drill the other one. That was uneventful. Got those in, moving on. Now, parking brake. I'm gonna make some kind of bracket. I want the parking brake to sit here, about an inch down on center and an inch out. A little bit of recess, so when you pull it out, it's in the visibility of the door, but when it's in, it's not. And I'm thinking a two inch by two inch aluminum that's gonna attach up here and then down here to give it some rigidity. Let's see what I can do. So this is the stiffener that goes in the middle there. So I took that out and I made a little uh, mount with two 632nds uh, up plates and then riveted that into that. This is the beginnings of the parking brake. That'll bolt to this and then up here, I actually bolt it to the uh, frame structure. I just tapped that. Um, I didn't want to put too many holes in it because for nut cert, nut plates, uh, so just two of those taps and the rest of it will be cut off. Only keep what we need. So that's kind of what it looks like when it's installed. I decided to put the face forward. That helps recess it. Um, this goes back about three inches just to create a little bit of leverage. Um, this is really solid, so I'm not worried about it. Here's the other two screws that go into the metal. And I think that's a good spot for the actual parking brake handle. And I'm basically gonna figure out what to, what to trim off and how I want it to look. Quick check to make sure that I don't regret that parking brake position later on. Obviously that's gonna be rounded, but uh, with the seat all the way forward, um, my shin does not, does not hit that. So, thank goodness. Okay, right. got that uh, installed, mounted, and uh, kind of marked, not sure how I want to cut it all. And then I uh, 
got annoyed with the long cable that it comes with, so I cut all that and I got carried away and installed it all, including uh, safety wire and bolted in there. At least I know it works. Now I gotta take it all apart again. That just makes perfect. So while I'm trying to figure out what shape I want this to be, um, obviously nothing is really 100% straight in here. So kind of trying to figure out what your eye gets drawn to, but uh, I think it'll just be something along those lines. But I also gotta make sure I got clearance for the vents behind it. And that leads me to cutting out the vents. There was supposed to be a time lapse of me cutting the two vents, but uh, I forgot to hit play or record. So anyway, two and a half inch hole saw did the trick. They give you an embossment of two inches on this carbon fiber panel, so it makes it easy. I had a little ring laying around that I used, center it, cross-reference it. Don't forget to drill out this little indexing um, thing to keep the vents from spinning. And I'm doing that with a file now. Looking good. Uh, in case it wasn't obvious, we're using the RANS supplied vents. I heard mixed reviews on them, but a lot of people are using the, no, he's using those, um, like the little aluminum ones. Those things are like a hundred and something dollars each. So we're gonna go for these uh, for now. If they become issues, we'll address it later. All right, so here's my super duper bracket. Um, <laughs> I downsized this uh, hole quite a bit because it doesn't need, not the hole, but the outside, the trim around it. So that's going to bolt up. Let's show that here and here. So yeah, like that. The hole for the parking brake will be there. There's enough clearance for the tubes and the vent to go in. And I was contemplating, I had to do it with one hand, I was contemplating if I should cut this out, but I kind of like the look of that. kind of matches the finished look that's uh, going to be on the, on the side wall. And this I cut down three quarters times three eighths. It's plenty strong, it literally just needs a little leverage up there. If for some reason I feel I need more leverage, I can put a little tab from this to the carbon fiber, but I don't think we need it. Squeaky camera. No, I didn't mount it all tight this time. All right, there you go. I like how this is finished here. Two screws for visibility, get it the bolt. Yeah, you can see this behind it. I'm not sure what we're doing for covers inside here. But uh, from up here, can't see it. So break off nice and recessed. Won't get in your way. Break out, noticeable. I think might get a red knob, but you know that it's a parking brake. Are you tired? I'm tired. That was a long day. I actually had to look back at the list of all the stuff I did today. And uh, started with this, got this all mounted and situated and through the firewall with the holes drilled out from the, the little balls. And uh, got the vents in, got the parking brake made. I even went to the uh, uh, shop and I, I rounded over the corners of these. They're just so so square looking. I did it here too And I did it kind of primarily so it's less likely to catch on stuff, but that's probably a silly reason. I just like the way it looks um, So we did that there's one more thing that I wanted to do and that's this bracket with the clamp for the um, Heater cable it kind of needs to be done up here. I just need to look for whatever you call this thing on there, and I don't feel like looking for that now. I don't even know where the, well, manuals are there. I don't know where the firewall manual is. It's been a long time since I looked at it. But anyway, productive day, and uh, I think next I'll get back on the center console. So this will be another video of random stuff. And uh, I hope you enjoy it, hope you're building, hope you're having fun, and thank you for watching. Good night.